Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today we're going to do part two of the page we're working on in Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. We're working on the hourglass here. We're going to do the little uh, flourishes here and we're doing it in the green color. Move some things out of the way here. <laughs> so our greens boom are moss green green ochre and putty beige we're also going to bring in a little black and a little white these are prisma colors the whole book is done in prisma colors in the shades of green blue pink and purple so if you're wondering why the page is done in the pink purple and blue so far and putting green here that is the reason <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and work on these uh, flourishes. We're just going to take, well, let's see. We're going to take the black first, and I'm going to get you down so you can see how I'm going to um, put some lines in here that are not there. Okay, just like in here, we added lines. Here we're going to add lines. So it's like this curve here is coming down, and I'm going to make a line come down this direction. And we'll darken it and probably fill in any areas out here that don't have any color. We're going to connect that right to this piece. Okay, we're going to do that kind of on. All of these is bring down a little piece. I have to turn this so I can get that going in the right direction. It's like this piece. And this piece. This one, this one here, it's going to connect to that piece and bring it down a little. This one can come around and connect to there. This one will connect to there. You can hear my kitty eating in the background, sorry. I'm going to pull this one down. This one down. Connect those two. And pull this one. And this one. We'll just connect that one there. We'll bring that down to there. Okay. Boom, there we go. Now we're going to bring in the uh, green ochre. So the browner color of all of them. Go up that black line. be bringing in that red a little bit which is absolutely fine just give a shadow line to that color
Okay, so we got some swirls going in there. Could bring in the moss green. And just kind of make that line come out a little further. We're not trying to be perfect here or anything. Just trying to bring some of that extra color out here. I'm going to be blending this with the um, putty that we have and all those colors will blend. Okay. All the putty. We're putting a little pressure on this to get those to blend. Okay, then we go back in with the green ochre. And kind of get that brown to show up just a bit more. Okay, then we're going to pull in a little white. i got to get the blue out of that. And we're just going to lighten up this section here where the putty is. And if we see anything we want to make a little lighter down there, we'll just bring that in. Okay. darkened um, some areas here and just darken them a little bit more because we put white on top and the putty is also dark or light I'm sorry and we'll just darken up these little curls here I 
can go over that with the green ochre so it won't look just like a black stripe but Back in with the ochre. Bring in a little bit of the black raspberry here just to darken up those areas a little bit. bringing in those red colors just to get a blend out from that. They're listed in the description box and I'm going to show you how I did that in part one. Okay, this little tiny bit here needs to have some green in it. Here we go. We're going to do that on the other side and up at the top, but we're going to work on this little piece down here. We're also going to do this in... Hmm. I could do that in blue. Or purple. The purple doesn't show up too much up here. It doesn't have to be green. We can do it in a different color. So, what do we have here for purple? Purple. Nope, you're not purple. Okay, black grape, parma violet, and the uh, gray lavender. And we're just going to go in down here, start with the black grape. I think that'll look good with the green. Okay, we'll bring some of that across. Go out of the lines. <laughs> okay, go in with the Parma Violet.
Okay. Grade lavender. I'm a violet here. Back in with the black grape. Wouldn't bring that is not the color I wanted. <laughs> Black right in here. Get that line a little darker. Okay, I'm going to turn it a little bit. some of that down with the black here. Okay. Dust off that fluff. I want it to look like it's curved here, so we're going to add in the light color. Right down the middle. Just like that. I think we'll have to cover up that little thing. I wanted to make it black, but I don't think it's really going to matter. I can probably put it in with a pen, though. So maybe I'll leave it alone. Okay, going down here into the lighter area, we're going to have to shadow this with the Parma Violet, not the black grape. black grape going down here on this side. Let me 
be a little bit more of that shadow under these guys. Parma Violet. Gray Lavender. Okay, we're going to bring in a little white in here. dark um, black dark <laughs> Thump, 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 go with the pencils. Okay, and we're just going to take this bottom one. All the way across the bottom. I have to turn it so I can get it a little sharper. Make sure to get everything blended here. Okay. Just going around these edges. Make sure you can see them.
Didn't get a little have a line over here. Let's see if we can clean that up with a clean eraser tip. <laughs> enough we're gonna do a background on here so if that doesn't come up all the way it'll just blend right in there we go and then we will um see what we got here black wise um There we go. Let's see if this will go over it. Make sure it works. This is a uh, Sakura glaze black pen. I'm going to see if it'll go over these lines. <laughs> A little harder to see when we get over here. Make this a little bigger than they're supposed to be. Okay, so I'm going to do that all the way across. Of course, I started on the wrong side, so I'm going to have to wait for it to dry. <laughs> like that. So like I said, this is going to have to dry before I go all the way across, but that's what that part will look like. And depending on how much of this I want to do up here. Just go around a few of those, all of them. It's just fun to do. This one will have a little bit of a raised look to it. So it'll stay up and it'll stay kind of shiny. So we're going to leave the bottom alone until that dries. So that means we all do the same up here at the top, the purple and the green. And let's see, we're going to do this little piece up here because I can't wait for everything to dry down there. <laughs> we're going to do this uh, gem up here in the opposite color that's down there. So we'll do this in the pink. So we have the black raspberry henna, nectar, and light peach. So we're going to start with the black raspberry and just kind of put it someplace. 
and then wherever you started kind of go all the way around on those pieces Okay, then we'll go in with the henna. point we need here. <laughs> now we're going in with the nectar. summary. One more sharpening in the light of um, peach. Is it peach? I don't know. See, I can't see it. So I think it's light peach. back in with the black raspberry. It'll be the last time I have to sharpen those, sorry. these guys too. Now about those areas, I think I can do some of those in black. But if we're doing it with the um, gel pen, I think I'll do it to in that. Just going to darken some areas here. This is blue. I don't know why that's there. Not using that one yet. I wanted to use black. <laughs> Oh well, some of them are blue. See if we dry. 
since we did that one in pink, we're going to do this. Yeah, we're dry. So it's, it's going to be raised up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but I can, and I can feel it. This guy is going to be done in um, blue. So now we'll get out the blues. Okay, so we'll just pick a point in here and add in some of the indigo. Like that. Pick a spot down here, just kind of go around. Maybe just do the whole thing up here. So that's the indigo. Now we go in with the um, blue slate. And then the sky blue light. like we can go back in with the indigo and make this darker of course you know I like so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do I want to make it nice and deep nice sharp point on that or a sharp corner and just with a little heavier pressure in that nice dark color. Okay, the areas that you see that are white are going to be black. Okay, what else are we going to do here? Um, I'm going to color in those stars in the purple section. We're just going to use the lightest purple. little bubbles. This can be half purple and then in the um, pinks we're going to use the lightest pink. I'm using the nectar. Okay. 
they're gonna get um, stickles on them so I just want to have some color on them now's the time is if you want to blend any of this a little better go ahead and do so I play with it all the time we're going to run the black across here and I'm going to do the other three four flourishes and the top is going to be purple also so when I come back we will do the um, background so I'll get those finished off camera okay we're back we got it all done all the blacks done on it I did a little black on this one, a little black on that one, and of course the same black kind of swirly things as we did on the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is take a piece of tracing paper. Um, it's a Strathmore tracing paper. It, you can get any kind of tracing paper. You can use a thin piece of paper if you have one. I don't have anything thin enough um, to do this with. I'm just going to take a pencil, black pencil here. I'm going to trace around the glass and kind of go up here. Doesn't have to be terribly perfect. I mean, I'd like it to be semi perfect, but you know, my hand's getting tired. And then the top is like up here. Boom, boom. Okay. I know, not terribly impressive, right? <laughs> but for what we're going to do, I'm going to move the book out of the way for a sec. I'm going to put this on here. And I think I have a little piece of copy paper. So I'm just going to stick it here. Put it down here and just trace around it again. And hopefully I put it the right way. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Yep, good. Okay, get it up at the top without moving it. You're just pressing a little harder with the tracing paper so you can get the lines there. There. Okay. Boom. And then we're going to cut this out really quick. And when I say cut it out real quick, I'm not going to take much to do this. I and mean, there's a straight line on the bottom there. It's going to come up. It's going to curl around. It's going to come up. Go across. And it goes down. <laughs> i got to see what I'm doing. Around the corner and down. Okay, there we go. Cut out. Get that page back that we're working on. Oops, so sorry. I did not mean to do that. Wherever the page is. Where's the page? There we go. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we have some ink here. Stormy Sky, Broken China, and Dusty Concord. So we're going to do kind of a light inking in this area. And then I'm going to place this over our... Let's see if it goes this way. There we go. This over the hourglass, and I'm going to darken it on the, the sides. Make sure we get to the top and all that kind of stuff. So we will start off with our lightest shade here of Broken China. Ah! Lids. Hand hurts. Okay, we're going to go in down here very lightly. We're going to go kind of on our color here. Pull it out a little bit. We're going to do the blue down here because... I don't want it to blend, blend, like blue up here, and you're going to splatter it all over the place, but put a little blue up here. Okay. Then we'll take a little bit of the purple, which is Dusty Concord. Oh, let's spot some of that off. I don't know how dark that is. And stick some of the purple 
where the blue is here and kind of coming out. Okay. which way this goes there we go we'll do it that way then we will just add in so we have some um, purple coming out this way we're going to darken the purple on the outside so we'll just put some darker there and pull it out what do we have going on the other side a little purple over here so we're going to darken it on this side We have the blue coming out here, so we'll darken it there. Here, we'll just pull it out to that purple there. Do it over on that side. So that way when we pull it off, you'll have it darker, but you'll have the same color up here. Then we're going to do a white line across here and do some work in here. But we want to keep that there so we won't get too much of that color anywhere else. Um, let's put some of that blue up here. Maybe a little darker over here. We are going to bring in a different color too, so let's get a little blue up here so darken it on that side there okay light coming in there all right now all we have to do is add more color to the whole page <laughs> I need a piece of paper behind here. And we just get in with this one. Yeah, if we can turn the page. Hopefully you can see all this. Down here, if you see this weird uh, way this is acting here, as I put my hand right into that black, got it here on my wrist, and I, you know, so I had to use a sand uh, paper eraser <laughs> to erase that, so, yeah, get some of that on there. We're going to go over to the next page because the next page is going to have the same background, so we can throw some of that purple right in there. Okay, do a little up here. Over here, up here, and like right there. Okay, we have one more blue to bring in, and that's uh, Stormy Sky. So let's close these up <laughs> so I don't get them all over my arm, which I'm pretty sure I've already done. <laughs> Okay, so this is Stormy Skies. It's going to be a little darker blue. I'll do that up at the corners. I don't know exactly where I am up here. Down on this corner here. And 
And then we have um, this chip sapphire. It's a nice dark blue too. So we're gonna stick that in there. Oops, let's get the paper down there. It's going to be a nice, wet, inky page. I'm going to put some water on it in a minute. Tiny bit of that in there. up. Water and a rag. We're just going to spray it on here and wipe it up. You can count up to 10 here. Sometimes it's easier to let it sit. Sometimes it's easier to just pick it right up. It depends on how much ink you have in specific areas. Also, what color ink you're using. The purple tends to lift really easy. The blues sometimes not so much. There we go. That looks good. That has to dry before we do any more work on here. So I'm going to let it do that. And it's best to let it air dry. Your page will lay flatter than it is if you put a hit gun on it. So we're just going to let it sit here and dry and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, it's all dry. And I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use, I'm going to say, the uh, Jelly Roll White. Why not? We're going to try it. There are small lines. Uh, maybe I should probably get you down a little closer to that so you can watch it. I'm just going to go over these black lines here, hopefully. Kind of have to find them all. We're going to go down here very gently, very lightly. That's mostly white, so we'll leave it. And then we'll go down on this black line.
same on this side. I'm rather surprised at myself. I started on the left side. <laughs> Usually I do the right side and have to wait for it to dry. I may have to go over this a couple times. Okay, then we're going to put in kind of a shine on that. Now that I've gotten it um, light, I'm going to bring in, and I do have the option, <laughs> it's my book, some grays. And I'm just going to kind of bring down some lines in the glass to make it look more like glass. So I just brought out cool, cool grays because we've got blue all over the place, purple and um, the red, so I thought that would work better. So what we're gonna do is like right about here, we're gonna pull up a line. Okay, probably could have been a little bit over here better, but that's all right. And we're gonna pull one down on this side. Probably right about here. Probably because I'm putting it there. <laughs> We're going to pull one down here too. Okay. Just so it kind of is getting a little thinner there. This, because it is a darker um, or thinner piece, it's going to be a little darker in color. So I'm going to attempt to make that I'm going to have to do this with a darker color, I think. I like that. Just so it looks like it's curving here. Okay. Then we're going to go down here and pull that up from there and there. Okay. Gonna bring in, oh by the way, if you were wondering, that is cool gray 30%. I don't think I need the 10% because that would be way too light. So I'm gonna go with the 50% uh, now and just darken it a little at the top. Okay, maybe darken this a little bit more. And then we'll just get the darkest color that I have out at 70%. Okay.
them go down and lighten them up a little bit. I want this darker. Kind of get a little black in here. Back in with the gray. lightest color that I had, which was the 30%. Then we're going to take in the white and just blend those softly. bring our white pen wherever I put it <laughs> back in and we're gonna go down I don't know if you can see that but I'm going down the one side there you can probably see it better there shine there. Okay.
just working it from the top to the bottom, making sure your pen is still working. We're going to bring in, no, that's too big. Where's the brush marker that I have? It's around here somewhere. Yeah, it must be it over here. Yeah. Shake that up. Trying to get it to work. <laughs> no, it's not going to work. So, now maybe I'll try this. <laughs> We're going to use the brand. Oh, well, we might try this. I don't know. Opening it is going to not happen real easy. Okay, there's some on the lid. And we're just going to bring some of that down. Ain't the best brush to use to fix that, but that's okay. Like that. Well, I wait for that to dry because I have no idea how long that takes to dry. First time using that. Get it off the brush. There we go. Find the lid to this thing. <laughs> And I have little splatters all over me and my desk. Where's the lid? Over on the other side. Okay. Close that up. Take a little of the dark because I got too much here, I think. Bring in the purple. Yeah, I'm gonna scratch some of that off.
There. Well, it does scratch off. Not that I really wanted it to, but... Just make that a little more of a point. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to call it. I <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed. It's a little lighter there. <laughs> there okay hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below i will get to them as soon as i can and i hope you all have a wonderful day i will see you in the next one i'm gonna kind of fix that area up there too and then i'll take a screenshot of it and leave it at the end of the video have a great day everyone take care bye now <laughs>